Hi and welcome back to another Amazon selling video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Nikki Kirk and I've been selling on Amazon for five years, going on six years, coming up here pretty soon and it's super exciting. I absolutely love it and I can't think of doing anything else. So if you didn't know, I actually broke my leg in June and so I haven't been sourcing for basically all of June. Um, but the bone I broke in my leg is the fibula, which apparently is not necessarily totally necessary to our ability to walk. So I did recover pretty fast. It's been a little over a month now. I think it's been like five weeks. Um, not fully 100% walking, but I am able to walk and I did go sourcing. So today I'm packing up my first shipment being back. So I've got a little bit of RA and a little bit of OA. But why I wanted to make this video is because I'm finally breaking out the Rolo wireless printer. I bought this thing before I broke my leg. It's literally been sitting on my desk, so I'm excited to unbox it today with you guys. If you like this video or any of my videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell and YouTube will let you know as soon as I upload a new Amazon selling video or a YouTube shorty that I'm calling them. That way you're supporting me just by subscribing. It's pretty surreal that I am getting close to 50,000 subscribers. It's only a matter of time based off of how it's going, which is just insane to me because I thought it was crazy first getting a thousand and then getting to 10,000. Like that's something I never really thought was gonna happen. So getting this close to 50 is kind of crazy. So if you're not already subscribed and subscribe and help me get there and then I'm gonna do some 50,000 giveaways. So that'll be exciting when that happens. Anyways, it's just kind of crazy to me and I just wanted to bring you in on that journey that that's nuts. But thank you for subscribing. As I mentioned, this wireless Rolo has been sitting on my desk for probably two months now. I bought it before um, I was actually taking a vacation, staycation, when I broke my leg. So it's been a while since I've packed a shipment. But I got most of the shipment ready to go and I thought it was a great time to split because I'm going to break up the Rolo. Obviously it does FN SKUs, which is the little product labels, and it does the shipping labels. So I'm at the point where I just have a couple more items to add to my shipment, so I thought I'd show you using this for the FN SKUs, and then we'll do the breakup of now we're going to do the shipping labels. In the spirit of my first unboxing of Rolo, I don't know if you've watched that video, I will link it below so that you can go and watch it later if you want to. But the first Rolo I got about a year ago, I absolutely love it. I'm so glad I bought it. I'm a little mad that I waited four years of selling on Amazon before I ever got it. So here's the thing. I've been using, first I started with an inkjet printer. You can use any printer that you have for selling on Amazon. You don't have to go out and buy a new printer. If you already have one, that one is good enough. You might want to consider it for these reasons I'm about to tell you. So I first used an inkjet printer, that uses a ton of ink, and then I got this $100, I think it was $120, laser printer. It's small, it's compact, it's great. But the toner is $56 right there, so I'm buying that, you know, I don't, every three months maybe, I can't really remember, but I feel like I was always having one on hand, so I was buying it a lot. So there I've got the printer plus the toner, just the one toner, not the replens, I'm already now basically at the price of a Rolo. The Rolo with the cables, that's right now $200. I think it's always been $200. The wireless Rolo is $300. So of course it's a little bit more of a splurge. But this first $200 Rolo, absolutely worth it. If you have to buy your printer and you have the money, I would highly recommend at least the cabled Rolo. If you have the extra money to splurge, definitely get the wireless. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be awesome. Um, of course, I've not even opened it yet, so I can't say for sure, but if it's anything like this one, it's going to be awesome. And actually, I'm really excited because I don't have a lot of space here in the RV, so having less cables will be great. Okay, so all that to say, if you watched my first unboxing, I did not know what I was doing. I have never used a Rolo before, and I hit all the frustrations that pretty much everyone gets when they first start using Rolo. I had not watched any YouTube videos. I was just going in a blind opening the box like I'm going to today. However, I do already know how the Rolo works. My computer's set up for Rolo, so in theory, it should go pretty smooth. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and open up the box. All right, so set up your Rolo Connect to Power, download the Rolo app. All right, I'm gonna have to do that, and connect to Wi-Fi. This my Wi-Fi, I don't know if you can see it. I finally got Starlink. Okay, questions and concerns. I will say this. If you ever have any problems with your Rolo, the Rolo support is amazing. 
you can open a ticket and it will get back to you pretty quickly, especially if it's like working hours for them. If it's not, it might take a little bit longer, but they're super helpful. Okay, so this is something new with this Rolo. It says Rolo Talks via colors. Label LED green, everything is ready. Red means it's having trouble with a label. And then there's a wireless LEDs. Apparently there's five colors. So white is ready for setup. Blue is connected to Wi-Fi, ready to print. Red, not connected to Wi-Fi. Green, blinking, it's updating. That's one thing. Isn't it always that it updates? Anything you have will update when you want to use it. Like a drone, you want to go fly it and it has to do an update. All right, purple blinking, it's receiving a print job. Purple and yellow, it's getting ready, give me a moment. So I don't, sounds like just red overall is bad. Okay. Oh, these are extra labels. So you can get free labels on UPS, definitely do that. I have just been buying the Rolo labels. I will be ordering UPS labels and you can get boxes from UPS also for your FBM orders. You can get those free as well. Anyways, so I have this Rolo box of labels and they just gave me some extra that come with it. That's great. All right, now to the printer. So it looks like it's got a cable if you need to connect. And then it's got the power cable, much like the other power cable. Um, this is a little bit bigger, but otherwise looks the same. Now it is kind of nice that it's white. It's clean, although now it doesn't match my other Rolo. Um, let me unplug it just to show you the difference. So actually, I think it's smaller. So we've got the gray one. It's actually smaller. I don't know why. It, feels like it was bigger maybe it's just the look of it so we've got the gray one and the white one it is great that it has all the same the buttons the same place it's got the two plugins same the button unlatch on the side here everything is the same so that should be pretty seamless switching over now when you open it up you adjust here to your label size so super easy now that I've already done it and Okay, this is one cool difference. So, I don't know if you can see it, but this, it has where it's going to feed the label through and lay it flat. And on this one, it's really just a barrier to hold it. So, sometimes my labels would like come through kind of crooked if I didn't put it specific. So, that's kind of cool update that the teeth on that one that hold it actually like feeding it in. So, that's cool. Now, this is one thing that I am actually really excited about especially when I have my warehouse built and like I can have a bigger workspace, but you can use two different Rolos, right? So that you don't have to keep switching out the labels. So now I have two, I'll be one for FN SKUs and one for shipping labels. Now it is not a big deal at all to switch out the labels, like at all, but it is kind of nice to just have one. It'll also be great because when Damien's shipping out magazines, he can use the label one, it's just ready to go, hit print and it's wireless. Hopefully we can both connect to it, but that's cool. So anyways, one thing that a lot of sellers, not a lot of sellers, but some sellers do have two, either Dymos, Rolos, whatever they're using, just for that purpose. Again, you would need extra space, which I don't have. Okay, so I'm gonna set that Rolo aside and we're gonna start with the setup of this one. So first I'm gonna download the app. So I just used the other Rolo that I already had plugged in, power, and it works. So I think the power cords are the same. And all of the little Rolo lights are flashing at me. You can't totally tell in the video, but it's flashing different colors. All right, so I've got the app. Hello, start, checking Bluetooth, okay. Okay, so it's connecting to Wi-Fi. It can print from any device on your Wi-Fi network, so that's cool, it should be able to print from my phone, and you don't need a driver, so that's also cool. I feel like I ran into some problems with the driver. Invalid password, really. So this probably wouldn't be a problem if you have multiple, if you don't have multiple internets, but I have multiple internets. Okay, I'm connected to Rootless. Okay, I have connected. It's ready and it's saying test a label, but I don't have a label in there. So I think I'm missing some things. It's set up, I don't know what label it was set up to print. Maybe a big label? But I will say the cool thing is that, so on the old Rolo, if you had some sticking out, you know, while it like goes doo -doo -doo, and it like figures out what label size you have and gets it all set up to like the cut line and all that. Well, you're missing some labels, right? That was one of the frustrating thing is like I was wasting labels that would be spit out and I got smart where 
on this paper, I would just leave this blank one. Like I would peel off the X, the label that I just printed, but keep it attached so that the one that spit out was not a label, but a blank piece of paper. So this one doesn't do that. So now it knows, like it, it spits it out, gets where it is, and then it goes back so that you're not wasting any labels. A plus. All right, so now I'm gonna test print some of the items, labels that I already have in Inventory Labs just to see if it works or if I need to do anything else. Oh, because I have multiple Wi-Fi's, I'm not on the right Wi-Fi on this that the Rolo's on. So I had to switch. I'm gonna have to switch this Rolo to the other internet that I couldn't remember the password for. Okay, so it's not set up for my laptop. So now we're gonna figure that out because it's still set up for the old one. I don't know how to make it set up for this. I'm on the internet, so here we go. Okay, so I just went to my printers and added a new one, and it's right there, Rolo X, whatever, 1040. So now I'm gonna add that, and hopefully that should work. That did not work. So I think I have to download the app on my computer. But how would you do that on Windows? Because do they? Okay, so I, it was just going to settings, add a printer, and adding the printer. So when I first did it, it was asking me to select a driver and the Rolo app literally said, you're not going to need a driver. And so that was confusing. And I said, okay, well just auto select it then. And that didn't work. So I went to rollo.com slash wireless and it says just go add a printer. So I tried it again and now it worked. I don't know why I always get these issues when I'm setting up printers, but there you go. So I have it added and I'm on the same Wi-Fi networks. I learned that with my wireless laser printer that you have to be on the same network. So if I'm on, you know, I had a Verizon and an AT&T and I was on AT&T, but the printer was on Verizon, it wouldn't connect. So yada yada, I'm on the same network. Now we're gonna test print these labels again. So in Inventory Lab, there's a setting called printer where you add your printer and obviously mine is not set up. That's why it's not printing there. So now I'm going to Inventory Labs and setting up a new printer. You see here, it's telling me the labels. So I already know that my labels are two, two inch by one inch. So whatever labels you purchased for your printer, you can do a variety of different sizes. Just whatever one you have, make sure you want to set it up if you're using inventory labs. You can also set this up right in Amazon Seller Central. It also has a way to add your printer. So whatever printer size label you're using, that is one thing I learned from the first video. You got to make sure you have that part right. So it's just the same exact thing, portrait mode, complete setup. Okay, so now I should be ready to go. Now again, we're going to try and print test labels. Ah, oh, it worked. Okay, it looks great. It actually it looks slightly better than, it's a little like crisper and cleaner. Like I would say this, the regular Rolo is like bold print almost. I don't know if that's a thing or not, but I like a clean look. They look clean. All right, so I've got the FN SKU label down. Now I'm going to pack up. I just have a couple more things to add to my inventory lab shipment, so I'm going to go ahead and add those. Print the rest of the FN SKU labels, and I will come back when I'm moving over to my shipping labels. Okay, so I got it all packed up and um, because of the shoes, I knew they were always going to go to their own warehouse. However, I've got four warehouses now that I'm sending to, which is slightly annoying, but it's a good thing because I can show you printing all the labels. So I got the shoes all packed up and they're going to go to their own warehouse. So I'm going to start with that one. The great thing is that those are OA orders and so I'm just going to use the box they came in. Also, that box of shoes each one makes 20 to 50 dollars so that's awesome this whole entire shipment ended up being 126 items so not a lot of items it's probably a third of what i would normally do but it's estimated profit is 1700 dollars so that's a good you know for being back and the good thing is that i ordered these oa ones over like i purchased them over a couple weeks and they're holding their value there's some things that I am returning because they didn't, they aren't worth it anymore. But for the most part, everything's hold its value. So that's really great. Anyways, this beyond the point, because this is a wireless Rolo printer video. So I'm going to switch out the label now into the shipping label from the FN SKU label. So let's get to that. It's super easy. Like I said, so here we go. So 
Now you remember how I mentioned it was gonna figure out and pull back the label? Well, it did. Only I guess maybe I had it too snug. And so, plus having them in this box is not the best thing. Um, so I lost the label, but we're gonna do it all over again and I have a feeling it might work this time. Much better. It is ready to go. So that's awesome. The label I wasted is all on me. I had it a little bit too tight there. Plus, like I mentioned, I just keep it in the box because it's easy. But if that box lid is closed, then it like makes it tougher to come out. Anyways, I'm ready to go. So I only have three shipments. One of these shipments is sunscreen and it's just a regular, you know, lotion, but it thinks it's flammable. So it won't let me send it. So I'm gonna have to relist those as FBM, but whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Seller Central and print the shipping labels. Okay, so just because a lot of people ask. So I'm using the shipping box it came in, which is 24 inches long. 25 is the longest that it could be, so it's perfectly fine. It weighs nine pounds. It's going from Oklahoma to Indiana, where the shoe warehouse is, and it's gonna cost me $7. So there is 10 pairs in there, so it's a little under a dollar each, which is awesome. So it might seem like a lot, but it's really not a lot, especially on those shoes that are making $50. So let me go ahead and print the label. Now I already have the Rolo extension plugged in on my Chrome because I was using the other Rolo before, but that is a step that you'll probably need to do. It just adds the little Rolo button to your Amazon Seller Central so that you can print the labels. And I'm ready to go and pack up the shipment. So this was a lot easier. Now, if you're totally new to Rolo, like I mentioned, you're gonna have a little frustrations. If you missed my first video, you'll watch me have frustrations in real time. It was a little frustrating with this one at the beginning, but it wasn't all that hard. And unlike the first video, I just Googled. I don't search anything on the first video. This time I Googled and figured it out. If you have watched this video this far, I'm gonna give you a chance to enter to win your own wireless Rolo. Or you can have a wired one if you want, it's up to you. So to enter, all you have to do is comment below answering two questions. Comment on this video and today's the 25th and I will pick a winner on July 31st. So just under a week, enter to win. So answering these questions, do you sell on Amazon and how long ago or when did you first come to find my channel? It could be either one, like you found it in 2021 or 2020. So answer those two questions. Do you sell on Amazon currently? And when did you first come across my channel? And I will pick one of the comments as a winner. So stay tuned for the reply on the 31st to your comment to see if you've won. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and fun and a little bit different from what I normally do. Um, I really enjoyed the first unboxing after the fact. Didn't necessarily enjoy it the first time I was doing it, but it was a fun video and that's just how I am really packing up a shipment. So don't forget to subscribe, comment to enter to win, give it a like, and tell your friends if this video would be helpful. Thank you guys so much. I will see you back here for another Amazon selling video.